across the pond in London, England, in the United Kingdom as we approach the Ovo Arena here in Wembley, 24 hours before the O2 and Money in the Bank. Welcome to SmackDown! And here on your Friday night viewing, the Women's World Championship is on the line in your main event, Raquel Rodriguez puts the strap up against the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, who has been on a tear as of late. They meet later tonight for the gold. And last week at the Great American Bash in Philadelphia, the Apex Predator Randy Orton's dirty fingers were all over that night's festivities, costing Bobby Lashley a spot in the Money in the Bank ladder match tomorrow. And then of course, the return of the Great One, The Rock, the SummerSlam host, spoiled by the emergence of Randy Orton, dropping The Rock with an RKO in the middle of the ring. We have yet to get answers by the Apex Predator on why he attacked The Rock, but we know the ever-looming issue surrounding himself and the almighty Bobby Lashley. Lashley has been furious at the spot in Money in the Bank went up in smoke last week. Lashley is looking to get his hands on the Apex Predator. Lashley plans to call out Randy Orton for a matchup here tonight in London. We welcome you to Money in the Bank weekend here at the Ovo Arena in Wembley and 24 hours before the contract hangs above the ring. One more spot left to be determined in the men's Money in the Bank ladder match. Sheamus marching down the aisle as we take a look at who is already qualified for the Money in the Bank ladder match tomorrow night. From Friday Night SmackDown, the up-and-coming Trick Williams as well as Alita Lowe Andrade from Monday Night Raw, the badass Braun Breaker, Dirty Dominic Mysterio, and of course, the Intercontinental Champion, Sami Zayn. A very interesting lineup full of past champions, current champions, and future stars of the WWE. But who is going to take the final spot? Will it be a bona fide future Hall of Famer, the 15-year veteran in the WWE, the Celtic warrior Sheamus, or will it be his brawling brutes brethren, the bruiserweight Butch? Well, one way or another, it has got to feel good for these men, specifically Butch, to be returning to these soils. The second ever NXT United Kingdom Champion back where it all started here in the United Kingdom. And these two men from the Brawling Brutes, great respect and great partnership and friendship between one another. But when a Money in the Bank spot is on the line, Butch and Sheamus got no problem throwing a couple of fists at each other. I'm sure they'll settle any differences in the in the pub later over a couple of points, but nonetheless, the Bruiserweight Butch, a former Intercontinental Champion, a former NXT Tag Team Champion, and of course, as we mentioned, the second ever NXT United Kingdom Champion. Looking to get through the 15-year veteran of the Celtic Warrior Sheamus tonight, somebody he knows extremely well, and to punch his ticket to the short drive over to the O2 Arena tomorrow for money in the bank. What is a great way to kick off Money in the Bank weekend here in London, England. We are here at the OVO Arena Wembley, just where we will be for Monday Night Raw on Monday as well. But the Celtic Warrior Sheamus and the Bruiserweight Butch Money in the Bank qualifying matchup kicking things off here on Friday Night SmackDown. Money in the Bank looming in just 24 hours, a extremely anticipated event. One night of the year where opportunity may raise higher than ever. Not one, but two Money in the Bank contract ladder matches, several championship matches all coming your way tomorrow night. Live at 5 p.m. Eastern time, it will be the topic of discussion throughout, throughout tonight's festivities, but right now we have Butch and Sheamus will to beat the ever-living hell at each other in a competitive way, of course. All trying to get their name etched into that Money in the Bank ladder match tomorrow. Butch taking down Sheamus off the Tornado. These two men know each other extremely well. You know, even before the Brawling Brutes was formed, 
Butch and Sheamus had quite the rivalry about two years ago at this time over the Intercontinental Championship. Several battles between these two men and of course the friendship that was really bonded and I should say created out of those wars and eventually went on to become the Brawling Brutes along with Sheamus' protege in Ridge Holland who has really blossomed out of that protege role. But those three men have taken Monday Night Raw by storm when they formed last year. Butch and Ridge Holland, former World Tag Team Champions. Ever since coming to Friday Night SmackDown, this trio has not seen too much success. Butch and Ridge Holland haven't seen too much action, but the Celtic Warrior Sheamus specifically has really fallen short in a couple of occasions. Knocked out of that gauntlet matchup several weeks ago by the Apex Predator Randy Orton. He's taken a loss to the almighty Bobby Lashley, coincidentally enough. We'll see later tonight if Randy Orton is going to accept that challenge. Bobby Lashley plans to call out the Viper later tonight here at the OVO Arena Wembley, but Sheamus looking to get back on the right track. Remember how he exited Monday Night Raw as well. Before the Brawling Brutes was drafted to Friday Night SmackDown in April, Sheamus was leaving the red brand on a loss to the Harbinger of Doom carrying Cross inside a steel cage. Sheamus has got to be feeling a little bit frustrated, although this is a competitive bout against a good friend tonight. Neither of these men looking to leave any stone unturned, trying to etch their name into the ladder match tomorrow. Sheamus sending Butch for a ride. And now gets the knee that he was looking for just a few moments ago. Sheamus obviously with the strength and size advantage of this matchup, but don't discount the size of the bruiserweight. He hasn't earned that name for no reason. Joint manipulation, Butch loves to implore in the ring. He knows how to beat you down, break you down, and make you suffer just as he is doing this Sheamus off the half Nelson. These two men know each other's playbooks inside and out. You gotta wonder if they're looking to add any new wrinkle to their repertoire tonight to try to throw off the other. Oh man, look at Butch. This is the bruiserweight style that has made him world renowned. This is what brought him great success at such a young age when he became the second ever NXT United Kingdom champion is what brought him great success two years ago when he joined the main roster, becoming the Intercontinental Champion just a few months afterwards. Well, still to come tonight, the Prodigy Rock, Sam Perez, the ballsy badass Shotzi set to determine the final spot in the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. That is coming up shortly here in London, England. Just a short drive over to the O2 Arena where we will house Money in the Bank tomorrow night. We'll be right back here in the OVO Arena Wembley on Monday for Raw. A great weekend here in London for the WWE as Sheamus looks to kick it off on a high note. Victory roll to the Bruiserweight. Now heading up to the middle buckle, Sheamus locked and loaded in a shoulder block that has got to feel like a ton of bricks. No small man coming off that middle buckle. A heavyweight colliding against the bruiserweight. Could be on for another victory roll or possibly an air raid crash, but again, Butch knows Sheamus' playbook and found a way for a reversal that time. And now a Kimura lock in on Sheamus. And this is some of the new wrinkles to the arsenal that we may have been alluding to. Butch trying to throw Sheamus off his game, break him down, beat him down by any means necessary. Sheamus get the hell out of Dodge, going for the double axe handle. Butch able to sidestep it momentarily. Still to come tonight here on SmackDown as well. The Women's World Championship going to be on the line in your main event. Raquel Rodriguez, second defense of the gold as she goes one-on-one -on -one with the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, who in recent week has turned away Roxanne Perez last week at the Great American Bash, taking down the LWO's Zelina Vega. Asuka certainly a dangerous challenger that Raquel is going to have to be wary of tonight here on SmackDown. Nice counter by Butch that time. Sheamus... Just got caught and set for a ride. Never discount the bruiser weight. That could be all she wrote, not just yet. Great strength being shown. Some intestinal fortitude there by a man who knows these soils very well. Traveled all across the United Kingdom for many years before even joining the WWE. Sheamus may have survived, but he is looking worse for wear against his brawling brutes brethren right now. The bruiserweight Butch in control of this Money in the Bank qualifier. As we mentioned, Friday Night SmackDown representatives already. Alita Lo Andrade 
Taking a little shortcut last week thanks to the Apex Predator Randy Orton defeating Bobby Lashley two weeks ago. Trick Williams taking down Chad Gable. Certainly going to be Trick Williams' not only biggest opportunity, but biggest match of his career tomorrow night. And who is going to take that final spot on behalf of SmackDown? Will it be Sheamus or will it be the Bruiserweight? Look at this. Butch turned his back momentarily. The veteran instincts of Sheamus looking to take advantage. Damn near almost stole the Money in the Bank qualifier. And he may not have gotten the victory, but that was enough to get Butch off the soles of his feet and allow Sheamus to get back into this matchup. Double axe handle, followed by this sit-out slam. And another pinfall there, but Butch is still alive here in the United Kingdom. We have got a fight on our hands, and we expect nothing less between these two men. It is fight night every time they walk down the aisle. Against each other is no different. Sheamus in the corner now. The Bruiserweight trying to get back into this matchup. Couple of damn near disrespectful boot scrapes. Hell, we talked about it earlier. Any means necessary in between the ropes. They'll share a pint and get over it after the bell. Sheamus in trouble. Butch. Oh, man. Thought he was going for a bitter end, but mixing up the arsenal once again. And the Bruiserweight is going to the O2 Arena. A big time victory for Butch as he takes down the Celtic Warrior here tonight. Well, Sheamus standing off with his Brawling Brutes brethren. And a sign of respect between these two brothers. Sheamus going to allow Butch to have his moment here tonight in the OVO. But tonight it's in the O2. Or I should say tomorrow night it's in the O2 arena. And Butch joins the fray. The ladder match. The men's money in the bank ladder match. The field is set. Three from Raw. Three from SmackDown. Who is taking down the contract in just 24 hours? Can't get enough Universe Mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more Universe than ever before. Become a No Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of Universe Mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how Universe Mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. Tomorrow night right here in London, the Mad Dragon Ilya Dragunov looks to once again slay the Ring General Guther, this time around for the World Heavyweight Championship. Right now, we're going to take a special look at Ilya Dragunov and what it means to be Un Bazik Bar. What does it mean to be Un Bazik Bar? My flesh, it bruises. Welts and bleeds like any other man. I experience the pain of conflict, but I choose to endure it. Embrace it. Become it. My body's fallible, but my mind's unbreakable, and my will is unconquerable. I move forward even if I crawl. I feel an eternal flame that burns inside of me, and the agony of combat will never extinguish it. No matter the evil that stands before me, my mind, my spirit, my very essence will always be on the seek.
If you ain't got goosebumps, you ain't breathing. Dragon off Goofther tomorrow night. But also coming up tomorrow night, the women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup already signed, representing Friday Night SmackDown, the genius of the sky, EO Sky, as well as Shayna Baszler. From Monday Night Raw, Cora Jade, the Buff Barbie, Tiffany Stratton, and the man, Becky Lynch. Five slots have been determined. One more slot to fill. That's up to either Shotzi or Roxanne Perez to claim here tonight. The prodigy Roxanne Perez has certainly been making some waves on SmackDown. Win, lose, or draw, Perez continues to put up a fight. As we talked about earlier, Asuka getting that Women's World Championship matchup later tonight, but Roxanne Perez was right on Asuka's tail last month and also determining a number one contender for the Women's World Championship. Perez and Asuka have exchanged a couple of victories. Roxanne Perez is looking for her breakout moment here on SmackDown. And winning the mon Money in the Bank ladder match, excuse me, can certainly be that breakout moment. It's going to be easier said than done. We cannot take anything away from the ballsy badass Shotzi, who returns to action tonight for the first time since Super SmackDown and a loss to the women's world champion Raquel Rodriguez. Shotzi has got to be frustrated, but she's got to channel that energy. She has got to be motivated coming in to this Women's Money in the Bank qualifying matchup as we are underway here in the OVO Arena Wembley. The prodigy Roxanne Perez, the ballsy badass Shotzi. The winner's moving on to the 0-2 tomorrow night to join EO Sky, Shayna Baszler, Cora Jade, Tiffany Stratton, and Becky Lynch in the Women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Of course, the prize that hangs above the ring, a contract that guarantees you either a future shot at the Women's World Championship here on SmackDown or the WWE Women's Championship over on Monday Night Raw. To cash in that contract anytime, any place for up to one year. Look at the success it has brought in just the last couple of years. Rhea Ripley, Women's Money in the Bank winner last year, went on to cash in to become the WWE Women's Champion, held that championship all the way from September to March. And of course, winning it back just a few months later. About two years ago, the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka, cashed in on one of the women inside of that ring right now, the ballsy badass Shotzi, who momentarily held the WWE Women's Championship. The Money in the Bank briefcase can be implored at any time and taken advantage of to become a champion either on SmackDown or on Raw. Shotzi's been cashed in on before. This, this time around, she's looking to be the casher in her, Roxanne Perez on the outside, and a took pace to Asita by the ballsy badass. As we mentioned, the last time Shotzi was in action was settling a multiple month issue with Raquel Rodriguez back at Super SmackDown in that Mexico City street fight. Things got chaotic inside and outside the squared circle. Shotzi came up short on that night. Now she's back here tonight with an opportunity to right the wrongs of months past. Standing in her way is the ever-explosive Roxanne Perez, who, ever since being drafted to Friday Night SmackDown, has really started to make some waves. Picked up some big-time victories, has also fallen short in some big-time matches, whether it be against Asuka or even the genius of the sky, Io Sky, back at Super SmackDown as well. But nobody can take away the talent and the resilience of the prodigy Roxanne Perez inside of that ring. A breakout star that's just waiting to break through that glass ceiling. I don't think Shotzi is interested in what could come tomorrow. I think she is interested in her own pursuit of the women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Down goes Perez, crushed off that senton. And Roxanne is still in this matchup, and that is the resilience that you got to give Perez credit for. Shotzi has been at the top of the mountain. A couple of years ago, she went on to hold the WWE Women's Championship not once but twice. Also a former women's tag team champion as well. Last 12 months of her career was involved in a brutal fight for several months here on SmackDown with Bianca Belair dating back to the back half of 2023 and then several situations with Raquel Rodriguez this year. Shotzi now with hopefully for her a clear line of vision and a fresh horizon that she's looking to kick off tonight and bleed into tomorrow. All well, remains to be seen if she's going to be able to do that. Roxanne Perez continues to be in trouble. 
Shotzi might not have gotten the three count. She continued to press on, but Perez finding an opportunity to strike. Major Impaler DDT. And Shotzi getting the shoulder up. Roxanne still in this matchup. Shotzi had a couple of opportunities to put this Money in the Bank qualifier away, unable to do it. It's the ever resilient Roxanne, but now is Perez's time to try to close the gap. Catch up with all that offense that Shotzi imported upon her. Try to find a way to win this matchup. Oh, wow. Look at the strength of Roxanne. Just dead waiting. Shotzi up for the powerbomb. Shotzi dazed at ringside. And you got to give credit to Perez right here. Not rushing out to the outside of the ring. Letting Shotzi come to her. Getting a little R&R &R momentarily. Shotzi may be in trouble. Perez looking for a little pop rocks. Into the color. Roxanne Perez is heading to the 0-2. Well, Shotzi putting up a fight. Damn near controlled the majority of this matchup. Some major offense inside and outside of the squared circle. At the end of the day, it all comes down to who got the three count. Roxanne Perez, your victor here tonight. Well, the rise of Roxanne Perez continues before our very eyes here on Friday Night SmackDown, and the field is set for tomorrow night's women's Money in the Bank ladder matchup. Roxanne Perez joins five other hungry women who is going to climb the ladder and retrieve the briefcase tomorrow night here in London. Since his SmackDown debut in December of 2022, Guther has accumulated 31 victories and only one defeat. For 236 days, he has been your World Heavyweight Champion. But are the walls starting to close in on the Ring General? He meets the Mad Dragon. Ilya Dragunov tomorrow night. The winner moves on to defend the gold against the King of the Ring winner, Cody Rhodes, August 17th at SummerSlam. But a hell of a lot more action on hand tonight in London. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. Making his way to the ring, Colorado Springs, Colorado. Weighing in at 273 pounds, the almighty Bobby Lashley. 
The almighty Bobby Lashley calling out Randy Orton for a fight here tonight at the OVO Arena. What? Whoa, 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 wait a minute. Ludwig Kaiser, that's Ilya Dragunov, an ambush backstage 24 hours before Dragunov contends for the gold. Oh, we saw what happened last week. Dragunov and Cody taking down Imperium in tag team action. And just 24 hours before Dragunov takes on Gunther, it looks as if Kaiser is trying to soften up the Mad Dragon. I'll tell you, there has been something different about Imperium and especially Gunther over the last couple of weeks. He knows that Ilya Dragunov has beaten him before. He knows that Cody Rhodes has beaten him before. And Gunther is feeling nervous. We will talk on that a little bit later tonight, ladies and gentlemen. But we got Bobby Lashley on hand. And wait, hold on. What the hell is this? Austin Theory? Lashley's calling out Randy Orton. Why the hell is Austin Theory even here in the OVO Arena Wembley? And his opponent from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 220 pounds, Austin Theory! I, I got no answers, folks. Bobby Lashley and Randy Orton have been waging war on and off each and every week. They've been at each other's throws for what feels like over two months at this point. Lashley looking to settle the score once and for all here tonight in London, calling out Randy Orton for a fight. And Austin Theory's coming down here. One half of the former World Tag Team Champions here on SmackDown. Why is Austin Theory here? I, I got I got no words, ladies and gentlemen. I got nothing to say. Kaiser attacking Dragunov backstage. Now Theory's out here. Money in the banks tomorrow night, and clearly chaos has ensued 24 hours before. A hell of a lot of opportunities on the line. I, I got nothing else. Well, I guess Austin Theory, one half of A-Town down under, is going to be going one-on-one -on -one with the almighty Bobby Lashley for one reason or another. This is not what Lashley wanted upon arriving to the arena here tonight. Oh, uh, wait, wait. Oh, uh, now Randy Orton fancies coming out here. Austin Theory's in the ring. Looking like Randy's ready to take on Bobby Lashley. And now the apex predator, Randy Orton. Yeah, now he feels like coming to ringside. Every week it's something with this guy. I don't know what mind games Orton's trying to play with Bobby Lashley. I, I gotta assume Randy Orton talked Austin Theory into this. And as I'm picturing what we're seeing right now, I, I don't like this for Bobby Lashley. It does not look like the numbers are in the almighty's favor here in London, England. Well, nonetheless, Randy Orton is here at ringside for one reason or another. Bobby Lashley is going to have to focus in because he's got Austin Theory instead of the matchup he wanted. That's the man who decided to lace up his boots and then sit on his ass instead of getting inside the ring. Nonetheless, let's just try to refocus here. Austin Theory one-on-one -on -one with Bobby Lashley here tonight on SmackDown. And we got to go back to what we just saw moments ago. Ludwig Kaiser attacking Ilya Dragunov backstage. Guther and Imperium not usually ones to ambush opponents and try to get the edge before championship matches. But we saw this with Bobby Lashley before the King of the Ring. We're seeing it with Dragunov and Cody throughout the summer thus far. Guther is starting to feel nervous. Competition is at an all-time high and familiar foes are rearing their heads for the first time in his world championship reign. And clearly Ludwig Kaiser trying to soften up Dragunov before he takes on the ring general tomorrow night. Nonetheless, Bobby Lashley trying to get back into this matchup. Starting to get going here against Austin Theory. Well, this is obviously not the matchup that Lashley wanted, but one thing Lashley can do here is send a very clear message to the man who decided to sit at ringside in Randy Orton. Beat up Austin Theory, get a victory, stare right into the soul of the Viper and said, I'm coming to cut your head off, Randy Orton. Cut the head off the Viper, of course. Just the same. Nonetheless, Bobby Lashley taken down by Austin Theory right now. And I don't think ringside is where Lashley needs to be at the current moment. Especially with Randy Orton looming over his shoulder. Nonetheless, Lashley sending Theory right to the announce table. 
Again, I am sure Randy Orton has got something to do with Austin Theory accepting this challenge tonight. And so far, it looks like at least working out a little bit in Orton's favor. Whatever the mind games of Randy Orton that he's trying to play with Lashley. I mean, Lashley's down and out, so can you really disagree with him? It's also the same man who spoiled the SmackDown return of the SummerSlam host, the great one, The Rock, who showed up just for a good time last week in Philadelphia, but God forbid Randy Orton lets anybody have a little bit of fun. I've yet to get a word with Randy Orton on why he insisted on dropping The Rock with an RKO. Hopefully next week here on SmackDown, we can catch up with Randy Orton. Clearly he's got his mind occupied with whatever games he's trying to play with Bobby Lashley tonight. Here he's trying to steal a victory that time. Lashley starting to come unglued. Couple of haymakers, couple of elbows to one half of A-Town down under. Lashley fired up against Theory. Man, Theory's looking a little bit rocked. And wait a minute, Orton in the ring and pushing Lashley. It could have saw coming from a mile away. Well, Lashley's obviously going to win this matchup by disqualification. I think Austin Theory got his money's worth, though. Did the job he was probably paid for. Now Randy Orton's in the ring, ambushing Bobby Lashley from behind. Yeah, Lashley wanted a fair fight tonight. Wanted Orton to come out here like a man and st stood toe-to-toe -to -toe with him in the center of the ring. Instead, Randy Orton electing for the ambush in the middle of an Austin Theory-Lashley match, and now Lashley's trying to play catch-up at ringside. Lashley's in trouble. Randy Orton has been super dangerous to say the least. There's just something about Randy Orton over the last few months that's just been on edge. I don't like this. Somebody's got to get out here to try to get Randy Orton off of Lashley. What the hell is he doing right now? Well, it goes from steel ramp to unfortunate concrete before we hit the match. Come on, Orton. Come on, what the hell? An RKO on the concrete. It's always something every week with this son of a bitch, Randy Orton. The Rock last week, Lashley tonight, and RKO on the concrete. Something's got to give. Somebody's got to do something about the actions of Randy Orton. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds and all the action you can handle. Coming your way, exclusively, each and every Wednesday, only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity. Tomorrow night, we are live at 5 p.m. Eastern time from the O2 Arena in London, England for the highly anticipated 2024 Money in the Bank. Coming your way, courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown, the Irish Devil, J.D. McDonough, defends the Cruiserweight Championship of the World against the first ever NXT United Kingdom champion, the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. These two men, very familiar with the soils they grace tomorrow night. Who is leaving the O2 with the Cruiserweight gold? Well, this past Monday Night on Raw, they came to blows amidst the WWE Universe, and it was Dijak standing on the soles of his boots. The megastar LA Knight is out for retribution once and for all. Dijak looking to use the megastar superpower as a stepping stone on the red brand. And speaking of Monday Night's, the WWE Women's Championship is on the line. The Eradicator Rhea Ripley dominant as ever, but can she take down the momentum that Bailey is bringing to the table? Bailey has been red hot since All-Star Raw, a deserving number one contender, but will she become the champion? Who will pull down the briefcase and secure a future opportunity at gold? Cora Jade, Roxanne Perez, EO Sky, Shayna Baszler, Tiffany Stratton, and the man Becky Lynch compete in the women's Money in the Bank ladder match. And on the men's side of the field, as we saw earlier tonight, the Bruiserweight Butch, Trick Williams, Andrade, 
Dirty Dominic Mysterio, the badass Braun Breaker, and the Intercontinental Champion Sami Zayn, who secures a future championship matchup, find out tomorrow night in the Money in the Bank match. It is Raw's side of the main event. The WWE title is on the line. The Second City Saint has played his cards right and made his intentions extremely clear. He is coming for the WWE title, but can he take down the prize fighter, Kevin Owens? For 236 days, Gunther has held on to the World Heavyweight Championship with an iron fist. But the mad dragon Ilya Dragunov has slain him in the past, and Dragunov has been red hot on Friday Night SmackDown. This old rivalry is reignited in the midst of the Money in the Bank main event tomorrow night for the World Heavyweight Championship. But another world's championship set to be decided in your Friday Night SmackDown main event. We are live from the OVO Arena Wembley in London, England. And the Women's World Championship of Friday Night SmackDown is on the line. Over the last few months, Asuka has secured victories over the likes of Roxanne Perez, Tegan Knox, amongst others. And she has been on a tear as of late in the women's division on SmackDown. Asuka's been hanging around the genius of the sky, Io Sky, and vice versa as of late, but the Empress marching down the aisle alone tonight as Io prepares for Money in the Bank in just 24 hours. Asuka dominated as ever one year ago, coming off a WWE Women's Championship reign. But over the last 12 months, Asuka has been failing one time after another to get back championship gold. Absolutely knows how to become a deserving challenger, but does Asuka still have what it takes to be a champion? We're going to find out before our very eyes tonight, and I'll tell you, as dangerous as Asuka is, she cannot underestimate the opponent in Raquel Rodriguez. Raquel has proven throughout 2024 that even when you think you got her up against the ropes, she can rise like a phoenix and shine like the sun to become a champion. Raquel has proven that when you knock her down, she will get back up tenfold. And will she be able to do so again tonight? Taking down Shayna Baszler back on May the 4th at Battleground to become the Women's World Champion, retaining it in her first defense last month at King of the Ring against Io Sky. And now Raquel, one of the faces of Friday Nights, walks into the main event here in London to put the gold on the line again against a woman very familiar with championships in Asuka. I'll tell you, this is two of the best that not just Friday Night SmackDown has to offer, but the entire women's division in WWE has to offer. And the gold that is around Raquel's waist is gold that she scratched and clawed for for months here on SmackDown. These are two juggernauts of the women's division fighting out for SmackDown's richest prize, Raquel Rodriguez, the champion. Asuka, the challenger. It is main event time for the OVO Arena Wembley in London, England. I want to thank you for joining us so far tonight on Friday Night SmackDown. Let's send things down to Samantha Irvin for your official match introductions. Introducing the challenger. This main event brought to you by Velocity, which goes down each and every Wednesday afternoon only on the Nomination Gaming TikTok. Go ahead and scan the QR code on your screen right now. Be sure to hit the like and follow over on the Nomination Gaming TikTok. And don't miss a second of the action on Velocity each and every Wednesday. That is the gold that is at stake. The Women's World Championship in this high-profile main event live in London. Asuka the challenger, Raquel the champion. Jessica Carr, your official referee, and here we go. The bell has sounded in this high-profile championship encounter. Talked about the recent victories of Asuka, and I take nothing away 
for the first lady of the LWO, Zelina Vega, and of course the prodigy, Roxanne Perez. Hell, she was successful earlier tonight in qualifying for Money in the Bank. But Asuka's got to realize that Raquel is a different breed inside of that ring. Size, strength, and athletic ability. Raquel Rodriguez, a bona fide champion, a bona fide superstar. And Asuka is in for a fight if she wants to win the Women's World Championship tonight. Talked about Raquel Rodriguez and the ups and downs she has faced throughout 2024. Winning the Elimination Chamber match back in January, only to get her legs cut out from underneath her at WrestleMania in her home state of Texas by Shayna Baszler. Raquel could have tucked her tail between her legs and lived to fight another day and never be seen again. But Raquel got herself up, dusted herself off, earned number one contendership, and once again, battled Shayna Baszler at Battleground in May and was able to take down the Queen of Spades for the gold. Storybook ending for Raquel. But that chapter of her career chasing the title was only the beginning of another chapter, which is defending the championship, which Raquel has already done successfully against Io Sky. Will she be able to do so again tonight against Asuka? Raquel showing some of her size and strength there. Those elbows take a lot out of you. No matter who you are, the Empress of Tomorrow knows all about dishing out some strikes, but Raquel Rodriguez, as we mentioned, not to sound like a broken record, but a different breed inside of that ring. Raquel ragged on Asuka that time. This is what Asuka's gonna have to implore, this powerful offense by Raquel. Asuka's just trying to survive, should just say has to survive the early onslaught if we can get it out of Raquel Rodriguez. And Asuka's got to wait for a moment to strike. And that's what Raquel needs to be cautious of. That slight window of opportunity. You can't give that to somebody like the Empress of Tomorrow, Asuka. A quick kick, a quick palm strike, and your days are like knocked out for good. We got Asuka just tying up Raquel on the top rope that time. Not necessarily a maneuver that'll knock Raquel out, but certainly something that'll slow her down. Asuka with plenty of submissions in the arsenal. And look at that! You want to talk about a powerful maneuver. Asuka digging down deep that time to muscle up the women's world champion. And that's what Asuka cannot allow. She cannot allow herself to get frustrated, especially in the early moments of this matchup, as Raquel Rodriguez has proven time and time again to be a big match player. Oof. Sent right into those diamond-plated steel steps. I don't care who you are and how much success you have had. Get sent right to the corner of those steps. You're going to be fielded for a couple of minutes. Asuka looking to use her surroundings and use her own arsenal to try to beat down Raquel. Yeah, the post that time, right off she went to the barricade, the steel steps prior to that. Asuka using her surroundings to her advantage to try to stack up some offense in this championship main event. Raquel knows she is in for a dangerous fight, but I don't know if she would have taken into account that Asuka would have brung this fight to the outside of the ring and now look at Asuka going inside of the ring breaking the count and back to the outside where she can use her surroundings again to her advantage women's world champion looking worse for wear right now you can do all you can to try to prepare for the strikes and the submission holds of Asuka but ain't nothing you can do to prepare to get yourself thrown to a barricade or an LED post or steel steps or anything of the accord Asuka, oh man, missed the first one, connected on the second. Raquel is gonna be seeing stars on Saturday morning, win, lose, or draw. That is not the kind of maneuver that you're gonna brush off in a matter of seconds. And Asuka is in firm control of the champion. Raquel with that early onslaught that Asuka, as we mentioned, had to survive, and she did. And now she is in control, and this is the pace the challenger loves. And we saw this last week. Selena Vega was hot out of the gate all over the Empress of Tomorrow. But Asuka brought the match up down to size, started wrestling her pace, and within a matter of moments, got the victory over the First Lady of the LWO. Now Raquel trying to find a window back into this matchup. There's the strength that has brought her so much success. You notice how Raquel with that power slam always holds her opponent up there for a moment, makes them think about what is about to happen. The impending doom of slams like that. Get in your own head, you'll psych yourself out. 
And Raquel sending Asuka off the apron. Raquel saying, you want to break this thing down to a brawl, be careful what you wish for. There's one clothesline. There's another. Could be going for the hat trick. There she goes again. Down goes Asuka at ringside and back between the ropes we go. Only going to see a decision, hopefully, inside of the ring tonight. Raquel always wanted to look for the pinfall or submission. Asuka needs it to win the title tonight. Quick pinfall on Raquel. I think Asuka knew she wasn't going to get the victory that time, but Sol a chance to get momentum back on her side and now starts to dish out a couple of strikes. Look at this, all over Raquel. Forearms, kicks, now into the ropes. Hip attack, takes down the champion. And Raquel Rodriguez still alive. Jessica Carr, the woman in the stripes tonight, calling this thing right down the middle in this high profile world's title main event. Raquel getting Asuka off her. Maybe a sense of urgency with that elbow, realizing Asuka just dissed out some heavy strikes. Followed up by that hip attack, and look at that delayed vertical by Raquel. Using the ropes to her advantage that time, getting a little extra spunk behind that suplex. Now it's Raquel starting to slow down the offense, but you gotta wonder, is this because Raquel would like to slow down the offense, or is this because she just damn near has to? Because she can only push herself so much thanks to the offense that Asuka has dissed out. Certainly a test for Raquel Rodriguez tonight. Shayna Baszler, a whole style that Io Sky doesn't implore. Io Sky a different style than Asuka implores, and Asuka bringing a different style that Raquel may not be prepared for tonight. That is the Challenge that awaits you as a champion. A target on your back at any and all cost. Now look at Asuka just tying Raquel up in the ropes. Maybe trying to focus on the neck and shoulder and maybe even arm regions of the champion. Could be looking to take out the power game. Of Raquel Rodriguez and Asuka, look at this. Has got both arms locked up. Might be looking to pull those arms out of their sockets. There ain't going to be no Tejana bomb or fall away slams or anything of the such if Raquel Rodriguez has got two limp arms. She could be on the verge of giving up and awarding the title to Asuka, but Raquel able to power out of it. And just in the nick of time as well. Set of the ropes and Raquel showing to Asuka that you have not broken me yet. Raquel Rodriguez trying to rally. We are in a sold out over arena, London, England. 24 hours before we head over to the O2 for money in the bank. Raquel off the middle buckle, enough to take down Asuka. Women's World Championship is on the line in your Friday night SmackDown main event. Raquel scaling the ropes once more. Getting all of the splash that time. Raquel risking it there. Luckily paying her dividends as Asuka may be out for good here in London. And Asuka's still alive. I'll tell you what, if there's one thing we know about the Empress of Tomorrow, if history has taught us anything, is that she has got blood moving through her veins. She is going to continue to dish out some of the most dangerous offense you've ever seen. Raquel cannot let up, cannot give Asuka any window of breathing room here. There's a reason Asuka is a decorated champion throughout her WWE career. A woman who knows all about the Money in the Bank contract. Backslide on Raquel Rodriguez. Trying to steal the championship, not just yet. Nice. Looked like an axe hammer by Raquel. Raquel starting to unload. Asuka doesn't know what hit her. Raquel Rodriguez exploding on the challenger. Into the corner she goes. And a clothesline that JBL would be proud of. The Women's World Champion coming alive before our very eyes. And the Empress of Tomorrow has got her back against the wall, or I should say against the floor of the Ovo right now. Asuka's got to get back into this matchup because the champion is wrestling her style. 
Whether it's fast pace or slow pace, Raquel Rodriguez is in control, and the women's world champion is one step closer to retention of her gold. Raquel obviously with the champion's advantage tonight, not something I'm sure she is looking to take advantage of. A lot of time for Asuka to get back inside the ring. One of two things going through Raquel's mind here. I need the moment of r, &R or I'm just going to wait in the wins for Asuka. But you also allow Asuka to get that same r, &R at the same time. Double-edged sword there for the champion. Raquel set of the rubs. Asuka going for the discus. Not to be found. Raquel Rodriguez off the shoulder block. Down goes the challenger once more. Raquel in prime position. Asuka's going up for a Tahana bomb. Raquel Rodriguez retains the Women's World Championship. Raquel Rodriguez continuing to prove to be a worthy champion. One of the faces of Friday Night SmackDown without a shadow of a doubt. The Empress of Tomorrow giving Raquel a fight. But the championship remains with Raquel Rodriguez. Well, what a night it has been here on SmackDown for the Ova Arena in Wembley here in London, England. All roads lead to tomorrow. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, the World Heavyweight Champion, Guther, the King of the Ring winner, the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. A brawl has broken out in the WWE Universe, and you gotta believe this has something to do with what we saw earlier tonight. Kaiser attacking Dragunov backstage. I don't know if Cody was looking for an ounce of revenge, or if this is a plot by Guther to try to take away any help that Dragunov may have at evening the numbers tomorrow night. I do not like this. Dragunov obviously take it out earlier. We don't even know his whereabouts here in the Ovo Arena. Things have broken down here to ringside and Cody Rhodes being met with a man that he has gone to war with in the past. I don't know who started this function, but the World Heavyweight Champion may be looking to finish it, taking down Cody Rhodes at ringside. Cody Rhodes awaits the winner of Guther versus Dragunov tomorrow night at Money in the Bank. Oh my goodness. Cody sent right to those diamond plated steps. Guther has cleared off the announce table. Guther looking to divide and conquer. Beating down Dragunov, softening him up. Did Kaiser earlier tonight. Now Guther looking to make sure that Cody will not be anywhere to be found, leaving Dragunov against the numbers of Imperium. I do not like this. Cody Rhodes trying to fight back here, sending Guther into the announce table. We have got to restore some order here in London, England. These two men jockeying for position here at ringside. Cody Rhodes once again wiped out by the man who has held the world championship for 236 days. Well, Guther has not forgotten about Cody Rhodes, the man who gave him his one blemish last year at SummerSlam. Oh no, this is gonna be therapeutic for the champion. Cody Rhodes sent through the announce table. We have seen a different side of Imperium as of late on SmackDown. Dragunov has felt it. Now Cody Rhodes has felt it. Cody Rhodes may be a non-factor tomorrow night as Dragunov looks to slay the numbers all alone. He battles Guther tomorrow for the World Heavyweight Championship.